New at 9, just days before Halloween, a light display in Peevely is now turned off. It caused controversy among neighbors who claim the display brought too many people to look at it and the traffic blocked driveways. Now, the homeowner says that's not the case, and now the city of Peevely is involved. We first showed you this Halloween display at the Linhard family home in Peevely a few weeks ago with lights that are synchronized to a radio station for people to drive by and watch. But now the Linhard family's home is dark and most of these decorations put away. The reason this letter from the city of Peevely, which says you will need to cease operations immediately. It also says you will need to acquire a special use permit as we are considering this light show a business. Am I angry? Am I frustrated? Absolutely. But the word that I would love to describe is silly. This is, this is, this is holiday lights. That's all it is. Holiday lights sync to music. Justin Linhard says he spent thousands of hours and dollars on this display for people to watch for free. He had a donation box out front for people to donate to the Jefferson County Rescue Mission if they wanted to. In addition to advertising, setting hours, he was apparently collecting donations, um, which on the surface, arguably makes it look like a business. Um, more importantly, and more immediately, was that the um, event, the display, was causing um, a public nuisance and putting the public at risk. Attorney Rob Sweeney represents the city of Peevely. He says this letter was sent after a complaint. People have been doing this for a long time. This is the first time I've ever had this situation. I didn't see the display. I don't. I cannot comment on its uh, uh, on its robustness, but it's been described as you know, kind of, uh, I guess, over the top. Sweeney claims the display caused traffic safety hazards, and first responders couldn't access the street if needed. Linhard claims that's not the case. Yeah, they're saying that they can't get EMS down here, or they can't get a fire truck down here because everything's blocking. And that's not true. That street is very wide. Linhard says he put a sign out and reminders on the radio to not block traffic. Not one neighbor has come up to me and said this is this this traffic is an issue. Not one. Instead, they wanted to go to City Hall and complain. He says this was difficult to tell his young sons. He was very hurt because he was so excited out of what he created, out of what we created as a family, and it's really affected him. And that's that hurts. That really hurts to see us and the father that we can't continue this. That's, that, that's, that's. But also tough to shut down after some stories he heard. I received a phone call from a gentleman whose eight-year-old daughter has cancer, brain cancer. And he under, he found out that the show was canceled and her one wish he would come every single night that the show was running because that's what she wanted. Mm. That hurt. I mean, I don't mean to be the Halloween equivalent of the Grinch, but, um, you know, public public safety has to be considered. I knocked on the doors of the 10 closest neighbors. No one wanted to go on camera, but two neighbors said they thought the light display was a nuisance. Another two said they didn't have a problem with it. I want to fight for it. That's my goal. I'll fight it as far as I can. The Christmas light display was supposed to go up this weekend, but it won't for now trying to say Christmas. I want to say Christmas for my boys. The homeowner, Justin Linhard, says he plans to talk to the Board of Aldermen during their meeting next week and will continue to fight against this.